Grid this side Rahul Morgan here as a group chief executive officer Treasury Consulting please be note that we have three types of system in the world number one is the ERP enterprise resource planning the leading players are SAP and Oracle having said that we are more players also second is TMS Treasury management systems in Treasury management systems we have leading players Murex Calypso having said that we have other players also third is CTRM CTRM means Commodities Trading Risk Management System. I repeat, Commodities Trading Risk Management System. When we speak about finance, now when I speak finance, I strictly mean the banking world, the pension funds, the hedge funds. Treasury management systems as well as commodities trading risk management which is called CTRM they play a very important role so let's take an example of any big bank of the globe without there is no need to quote any name but they are taking positions in foreign exchange equities currencies fixed income, crypto, commodities, and whatnot. In this eventuality, Treasury Management System, which is also known as TMS, play a very important role for them. That's really very important. But we need to understand one thing that designing of CTRM which is designing of commodities trading and risk management piece is further categorized into two parts. And here we need a very good understanding. Unfortunately, I have seen various CTRM players in the world, what they do, I don't want it to say, but they do not mention the bifurcation. So, when you design a CTRM system, you need to be clear about the bifurcation. Now, bifurcation is as follows. Either you are designing a risk management system. Guys, please be note that risk management is a very vague term. Very, very vague term because 10 people in the market have 10 different definitions of risk management. This is something we need to learn, understand and appreciate. So whosoever, whether this is any big four or whether this is any risk management firm, risk advisory firm, if they are designing any CTRM, then one thing has to be clear, which is their understanding of risk management. Please don't expect client to give them understanding because client do not have a detailed knowledge in that regards. That's another beautiful thing of life. Client do not have a detailed knowledge. Second piece of CTRM is called accounting. You can't run away from accounting. No banks in the world can run away from accounting. That's really very important. If you are thinking you can run away from accounting, probably you are a genius. Let it be honest. Whether this is treasury management systems, who takes care of the treasury products, or whether this is CTRM, commodities trading and risk management, you need to have a correct accounting framework in place. And here come complexity. Which accounting framework I'm talking? If I'm in India, am I talking about INDAS? 
by Institute of Chartered Accountant of India. If I am in US, I am talking about US GAAP. If I am in Singapore or probably UK or any other, am I talking about IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards? Or if I am in US, there are many companies in US who follow IFRS and they also make via US GAAP. So they make two set of financials, one via IFRS and one via US GAAP. Now, when we speak about accounting, we are supposed to be very clear in that regards. Because the word accounting means hedge accounting. Let's go ahead with an example. I am an oil trading firm, buying a brand, New York Mercantile Exchange, playing in the spread and all these kind of things, which is called crack spreads. Whatever I do, I do need to take accounting for that because I need to do the accounting of my exposure. Now I have two set of exposures. Number one is the freestanding exposure. Now freestanding exposure, like I said, it means that I am only doing for the sake of PNL. If my view is correct, I make money. If my view is not correct, I will lose the money. Very simple. Second is the genuine exposure. My company having clients and if I accumulate them, I'm having 100 million of the total I need to trade on a given month basis, which means in a year 1.2 billion. Now that 1.2 billion on a year I need to cover in the market. That's very important. And when I say I need to cover in the market, one thing which is supposed to be clear crust is that this 1.2 billion or 100 million in a in a month is having an exposure, which means I need to do the hedge accounting. And here there is a tactical call. If I speak from an angle of the US cap, then it is little inclined towards qualitative hedge accounting than quantitative hedge accounting. And if I speak about IFRS, then it is a little inclined towards quantitative hedge accounting than qualitative hedge accounting. Now, the moral of the story is pretty clear. I am supposed to be straightforward that am I going to have an accounting piece in my CTRM? Because without accounting piece, your CTRM is like a smartphone without smart features. So guys, when you are designing CTRM, please be very clear that designing is supposed to be full of facts. Please be very clear. That is something I would like to convey. Accounting please, accounting piece play a very, very, very important role in that regards. And last but not the least, when the designing of CTRM is done, which is called Commodities Trading and Risk Management, finally, you need to integrate with ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, could be SAP or Oracle or JD AdWords, maybe various products. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the information has to flow in the ERP. Reason the financial statements are done via ERP. So we may have various companies on the internet, those who promote CTRM, they say they have the best CTRM and XYZ, but we need to duly analyze the CTRM before buying that. This is Rahul Magan from Treasury Consulting Group. You knew my personal number 98 double line two four two nine seven eight